Welcome to In the Word with Roy Edwards, where we dive into the timeless wisdom of the scriptures with your host, Pastor Roy Edwards. He is the senior pastor of Redemption Church in Casa Grande. Service times are Sundays at 9 and 11 a.m. and Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. For more information, check out www.redemptioncg.org. Prepare to be uplifted, encouraged, and challenged by the Word of God. Let's jump right into the message. Let's jump right into today's podcast. So, Job chapter 33, verse 26 says in the New King James Version, He shall pray to God and he will delight in him. He shall see his face with joy. He restores to man his righteousness. So, we got to get this today, that this is a powerful verse of the heart of prayer and how God responds to those who seek his face. So, let's break it down a little bit. Job's story is a mixture of a lot of suffering, a lot of confusion, but also divine restoration. We pick it up in Job chapter 33. Elihu, one of Job's friends, is speaking. He points out a very profound truth. The act of prayer is more than just presenting our needs. It's about reconnecting with God. And more importantly, it's about God's willingness to restore us. So let me give you four pieces as we break down this verse. Number one, he says he shall pray to God. Prayer is our direct line of communication with God. It's more than just a religious ritual. It's a relationship. Joe's life shows the importance of crying out to God, especially in moments of pain and confusion. When we are at our lowest, prayer draws us closer to God and his presence. Even when Job did not fully understand his situation, prayer kept him connected to God. Number two, and he will delight in him, the word says. What a powerful truth. God takes delight in our prayers. This reminds us that God is not distant or uninterested in our struggles. He delights in our seeking Him, our honesty, and our dependence on Him. And so no matter what we face, when we approach God in prayer, He is pleased. Number three, He shall see His face with joy. This part of the joy that comes from being in God's presence. When we pray, we come face to face with God's love, with God's grace, and with God's peace. In prayer, we find joy that goes way beyond our circumstances. Listen, even in suffering, like Job, we can find joy in God's presence. The psalmist even wrote, in your presence is fullness of joy. Number four, he restores to man his righteousness. Prayer not only connects us to God, but it also brings restoration. And God is in the business, I need to tell you today, God is in the business of restoration. He restores our hearts, He restores our lives, and He restores our righteousness. But let me make something clear really quickly here. Our righteousness is found only in what Jesus did on the cross at Calvary. Nothing we have done Nothing we could ever earn. Our righteousness comes from Jesus. Through prayer, we can experience God's transformative power that brings healing and brings wholeness. (laughs) So let's apply this. This verse from Job encourages us to develop a life of prayer that seeks more than answers. It seeks God himself. When we approach prayer with humility and a desire to connect with God, we open up ourselves to His delight, His joy, and God's restoration. I pray that this could be a reminder today to make prayer a priority in all circumstances. Whether you are experiencing joy or confusion or pain, let me tell you, run to God in prayer. For he delights in you and he's ready to restore you. Would you pray with me today? Lord Jesus, I I say thank you. Thank you that we can come before you and we're grateful for the gift of prayer. We can connect with you and talk with you. Thank you for delighting in us as we seek your face. I pray, God, that you would help us in every season of our lives trusting you, 
trusting your plan, trusting your heart. Thank you that you give us your joy and your peace and your strength. And then God, you help to restore us. I pray God in the name of Jesus that you would soften our hearts and draw us closer to your presence. I pray God in the name of Jesus that you would restore us as we seek your face. We love you and we bless you in Jesus' holy name. So remember, God is waiting to hear from you. He delights in your prayers. So keep seeking his face. And I pray that you will find joy and restoration in his presence. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. May his love surround you, his spirit guide you, and his grace cover you today and always in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for listening today to In the Word with Roy Edwards. We pray you've been encouraged and challenged by the Word today. Be sure to follow Pastor Edwards on social media, YouTube, and you can also listen to these messages on any podcast platform you consume content. Just search for In the Word with Roy Edwards and enjoy. We will be back next week with more messages to encourage you in the Word.